Hello there and welcome to How to Meals. If you want to skip the intro, I'm just going to leave a timestamp. If you want, just go there. This episode is going to be another one inspired by Instagram. Don't worry, I'm not about to murder somebody. My hands are just really banged up from washing them too much. So I usually wear gloves when I'm cooking. I'm going to make some Dandan Dan style inspired spicy noodles. And a small shout out to the 1%. You guys know who you are. Thank you again for being subscribed. I hope that you enjoy this episode. So the ingredients for two people are two tablespoons of brown sugar, roughly two tablespoons of peanut butter, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, roughly two cloves of garlic. Last time I made this, I added roughly two. I thought, mm, I like garlic, I'm going to add it. I liked it. And for me on the spicy scale, it was just enough along with the other spices, but for Tess, it was a bit too spicy. So I'm just scaling it down to two. Roughly one teaspoon of chili rings. I have chili rings, you can add chili flakes. It doesn't really matter. Uh, again, this all depends on your spiciness preference. Half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can replace this with whatever you like. For example, most people use Szechuan pepper. I didn't have any, so I'm just using some cayenne pepper. Four tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of balsamic cream. If you only have balsamic vinegar, I'd say add two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. I did not think this composition through. I'm just going to have to scoot everything up. There we go. This is completely optional, but I also like to add a little bit of shrimp to the dish. You can replace this with some chicken, with some tofu. It doesn't really matter. And finally, some of your favorite noodles. Enough for two people. Last time I used some ramen noodles. This time I thought I'm gonna try it with some udon noodles. I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. You can always add some extras to this. I also like to add a little bit of stir-fried cabbage or some mushrooms. Let's do this. So first of all, take a pan and put it on a fire. I'm going to use a wok for this. You can perfectly do it in a regular pan. Add some oil. I'm using olive oil because I find it handy and I don't have any other. You can use whatever oil you like and let it get hot. Once your oil is hot, add in your shrimp and let them fry on each side for roughly two minutes. Make sure not to over fry them. If they start turning pink, flip them over and fry them until they're done. You can either marinate them or just fry them like me and season them with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt and I'm also going to season them with a little bit of paprika powder. You can use whatever seasoning you like. I'm not going to marinate them or add any garlic because the sauce of this dish is pretty strong on its own. There you go, my shrimp are done. Now I'm just going to take them out and set them aside. So in the same pan, put it back on the fire, add a generous amount of oil. I didn't really clean it out because I want the flavor of the shrimp to remain in the pan. Your pan is probably still hot from the shrimp. So now let's add the garlic, the chili flakes, the sesame seeds and the cayenne pepper. Give everything a real good stir. Mmm, gotta love the smell of garlic. At this point you can lower the fire and add the soy sauce, the brown sugar, the peanut butter and of course the balsamic vinegar. And give everything a real good stir. Oh, it smells so good already. There you go. At this point the sauce is almost done. Now what I forgot to mention in the ingredients, you want to save a little bit of your noodle water. I forgot so I'm just going to add a little bit of boiled water. A tablespoon or four, give everything a real good mix. So this is roughly the consistency you want. And now it's time to add the noodles. Mix everything up so that your noodles are covered with the sauce. At this point you can also turn off the fire and just work on the remaining heat. And there you go. You have yourself some Dandan inspired noodles. If you want, you can also add the shrimp at this point, but I usually just like to add it to my plate. For the sake of the video, I already pre-cooked the noodles and added them back in cold and just heated them through. But you can also add them just after they've cooked so that they're still hot. Now, let's serve it up. Look at me trying to act like I know something about presentation. Anyway, just try to present it in a beautiful way. Now it's ready to be eaten. Last time uh, I got a comment that I didn't eat the food. Yeah, 
I kind of forgot. I'm sorry about that. It was a quite busy day and I had other stuff to do, so I kind of skipped the outro. So here is me making it up to you guys. This episode should be uh, called Russian guy eats spicy Asian noodles. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to dig in. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is just perfect. Last time I made it, as I said before, it was a bit too spicy, but this time around is just perfect. You have the nice spiciness of the chili and the garlic and cayenne pepper or whatever pepper you used. That balances out with some sweetness of the brown sugar and the peanut butter, which makes this so much better. Enough of me babbling. Here is the comment of the week. Thanks again for commenting. And if you're subscribed, thank you for being part of the 1% group. 1% squad! Somehow sounds very elitist. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.